Hey there, lovely Capricorn, and welcome to your April 2021 Tarot and Oracle reading. I'm Infinity, and we're going to be getting into your reading for the entire month of April. I don't do weekly uh, readings, so welcome, welcome. If you're uh, a subscriber and you've been around these parts before, thanks for coming back. If you're new, if you've never seen any of my videos, welcome, and I'm glad you were guided here. I also have guided astral meditations, energy updates, and soon I'll be doing more lives um, and all sorts of stuff coming soon. So I hope you'll be a part of it. Alrighty here, Capricorn. We're going to get started with your uh, first card, which is Moonology. I really love this deck and I really like starting readings with this deck. Um, so have my sage and my palo santo here burning it's kind of excited <laughs> but i use this smoke to clear the cards so let's see what we're gonna get for our first card here lovely capricorn and <gasps> there we go that be it what is it you are good enough full moon in virgo you are good enough, Capricorn. You are good enough. Well, hmm. Feeling like some healing needs to take place here, Capricorn. Definitely feeling that green energy, heart chakra energy. Um, needing to do some healing here. I think you feel like... Um... Maybe you let somebody down. Uh, you didn't, you know, fulfill specific a specific role or something. Um, let's dig here a little bit deeper. Get into our tarot with the Light Seers Tarot. See what we get. But I do feel that we need to to heal some energy here cut some cords possibly and I do have an ebook on the importance of cord cutting and a meditation or actually two meditations on there um, but please check that out on my website thehealingbutterfly.org wow really needing to shuffle these and I shuffled them a lot and cleared them a lot before we came out okay one card out second card out I'm going face down here to start third card fourth card fifth no fourth card fifth card sixth card okay let's see what we get capricorn eight of swords um came out in reverse but i'm being told we're going face up with it or right side up with it so we have eight of swords seven of swords yep 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 the emperor came out in reverse interesting i'm gonna leave them in reverse i'm hearing for now at least interesting the wheel whoopsie what i just do the star <laughs> The star straight up, I'm hearing. And Knight of Cups. Also in reverse, I'm hearing. Also in reverse. So, interesting cards here, Capricorn. What is going on? Eight of Swords, Seven of Swords. The Emperor... The wheel, the star, and the knight of cups. Okay. And yet more more greens and blues and teals here. Definitely with this eight of swords, it's like being a bit stuck from a situation or not really knowing 
how exactly to feel about it or to move on from it. But you are being guided to move on from it. This, um, the last full moon on the 28th really coming through to give you a little bit more clarity. Um, but I do feel with this Emperor card and Emperor in reverse that you maybe have even like... Things have got, like, quiet as far as kind of connecting with, especially Archangel Michael, I'm feeling. It's like, or any Archangel for that matter, I think that, um... It, it feels like you're just not going there. Even though they're coming around and, and leaving clues and support in and, and different ways. Just energy coming around you. And I think you feel that. But your engagement in it is passive, I'm hearing. Like... like you're not rejecting the energy. You know it's there. You're kind of abs in an abstract general way calling in guidance, I think. But not necessarily for you. It's like it's there, but it's targeted into something that isn't about how you feel about things or about your situation. Um, so it's like... But I also feel like that's creating a problem because you feel a bit maybe a bit blocked with stuff um because right below it we have the knight of cups but he's in reverse too so there's like and the knight of cups right here he's representing your guardian angel so we have the emperor representing archangels specifically archangel michael um and Knight of Cups representing your guardian angel. And they're both in reverse. So you're just not into... I mean, I hate to put it so bluntly. But what I'm seeing here, it's like... It's like you're bypassing with this star card. It's like you know you're connected. And you're, you're always going to be connected. But you're choosing how like what levers to pull and to push and where to go and and how to and how to do that and it's kind of like at least for now i see you even not i hate to use the word rejecting because it's not like you're walking away from this, from the knowing of your guardian angel and your and your and the archangels and Michael and Metatron. But again, it feels very passive. It feels like you're just not engaging. They that there's you know you're connected. You work in a state of being connected. So whatever it is that you do, you tap in. Again, but it feels like when it comes to you, for you, it's like, I'm not going there. I'm not, I'm not receiving for myself. Um, and then with the wheel, it's like things are moving. So I feel like things are definitely moving forward for you in some situations. But in some other situations, it's like maybe work and finances things are taking off there things are more abundant you're you're you feel like you like you are good enough you're like yeah what i'm doing i'm good at this and and i and all that but at the same time there's definitely more healing more blocks that need to to come down you you just see things because from the start here with this eight of eight of uh swords 
we're not seeing the whole picture. We're feeling part of it, but we're not we're not seeing we're not seeing everything. We're closed off to the whole picture. And it's almost like you're running from it. It's like I don't want to see the whole picture. I don't want to see I don't want to see it all. I I'm going to focus on this other stuff and then with this other stuff I can see I can see plenty and there's plenty going on here and I'd rather focus on that because both of these both of them are in reverse. The point and the and what they're telling me right now, let's let's pay attention though to the fact that they're here. So they're present. You know they're present. But you're not engaging. Again, it's like, you know they're there. You know you get that support. You know you have that energy around you. You know you know that just by being awake and moving through your day and all of that, that you are connecting by doing the things that you do. But again, it's like, yeah, but you're, you're choosing to, to, to block the full picture yet things are moving things you are being you are being guided so it's like you're it's like you're hearing and feeling and going as guided with some stuff you're fully plugged in with other stuff you're just like nope disconnected interesting okay harmony is your card card number 40 create harmonious surroundings well, look at that. So I think that may be even part of it. We'll get into it here. But I think that may be even part of it that it's like, I just want to focus on what's working and and not any not anything else that, that may not be harmonious. I'm just not going there. If it's not easily harmonious, I'm not putting effort into it. And that's okay for a bit, but rejecting anything that's uncomfortable or not in harmony or not falling in line with the way you want things to be is not the way to be balanced in the world. Because clearly this isn't balanced. Okay, create harmonious surroundings. I am in harmony with all aspects of my life. When the harmony card appears, you need to consider which area of your life is in discord. Harmo harmony can be felt within ourselves, within our family and home life, and within our business environment. When disharmony is present, our inner sanctum goes into upheaval. We may feel out of balance, angry, frustrated, or unhappy, have an inability to concentrate and feel like our inner world is falling apart. Frequency 432 when digitally compressed equals 9. 4 plus 3 plus 2 equals 9. 432 hertz is considered the universal harmonic. It is mathematically consistent with universal patterns and it correlates most with our music systems. All living things are energy vibrating at different frequencies. When we place the correct sounds with and vibrations within our surroundings and ourselves, we can ultimately create our own musical harmonic. The Taurus ultimately translates to universal integrity and wholeness. Its energy flows in one end around the surface and out through the other side. It is nature's way of sustaining life. It is the fundamental form of energy that is balanced. Practical application. To bring yourself back to a harmonic state, sit outside in stillness and allow the beauty of your surroundings, the chirping of birds, the patter of, ray, of rain, or the rays of the sun to soak into your physical essence right down to your cellular memory. You can play tunes of 438 hertz to help you envisage the toy rotal rotating, ro sorry, relating to the Taurus body um, that sits around you and everything in nature, flowing in a balanced dynamic state and breathe. Card numerology is four and your crystal suggestion is a uh, funk, funk shite, Mokai balls, para, petalite, selenite, and 
uh, Pua shell. So that's that to toy rotal field here. So it's open, it just opens on the top, it opens on the bottom and everything flows within it. So it comes in and into our field and then out the bottom and back again. That's the flow. When we talk about being in flow, that's what we're talking about. And like I said, clearly this is out of balance because you're, you're like, I'm not paying attention to that, I'm paying attention to this. There's something going on that is definitely out of balance. You know it's out of balance and you've just been like, it's cool that it's out of balance. <laughs> it's like, you know, you know it's out of balance. You know that your connections are out of balance, that you're not fully connecting, you're par partially connecting, you're kind of closing off information from from your from your guardian angel from your archangels because you just don't you just don't want to deal you just don't want to to get into what that is it's like that's a can of worms i got it would have to really dig into and deal with and i'm just not into it and and like i said you know this is okay for a time we all go through those times where we're just like yep not going to deal with that it just is what it is not going to deal with that and you can do that you can do that but um it's not sustainable it's not something that you're going to be able to you know keep on for very long it feels like at some point in this month now remember this is a this is a uh the april the month of april reading so this is this is showing me that this is something that's going to be your kind of theme for the month so while in some cases things are moving forward you're connected things are abundant we have our archetype card here of the self and we're getting into the tools. There's also places and initiations or themes of archetypes. We're just getting into ourselves, the self card that's that you need to focus on or that's mostly coming out or that is repressed in one way or another. So we'll get into that. And then we're going to get a tool card here. What tool do you need to use or release that... Uh, that is in play right now or needs to come into play right now so let's see what that whoa um put them all back there's a lot there just want one move that okay it popped itself out over here on the right so i'm going to take that so the self card is the mother. Whoa, interesting. The mother card. And the tool card is the tear. Okay, so let's get into the book. Whoa, butterfingers over here. The mother card number one. Okay. The great mother, the feminine, the source. We begin our archetypal story with the mother's love. Through her sensual, fertile, and life-giving energy, all creation takes form. Regardless of our birth story, each of our hearts beat for the first time in the warm womb of the mother, where she offered resources from her body for the building of our own. Yet her tale is not so simple as the mother especially on the earthly plane contains both light and dark aspects of the feminine with the best of intentions the mother wraps her loving arms around her creations and begins to grip what she meant to set free the mother both nurtures and prohibits growth she gives yet clings she creates yet restricts amid this complex energy the mother holds the key to the eternal challenge of love when light glowing germinative creative nurturing when dark dim exhausted controlling and limited and the mother is part of the trifecta maiden mother crone because of the relationship between them take special note when these cards appear in one reading 
And notice how the mother archetype is expressed in nature. This is perhaps the most balanced and benevolent form of the mother's grace. Okay, <clears throat> so nurturing and love. So what I'm hearing here with this is that there is a situation here about needing to heal love. And I think that is kind of the bottom line here. Um, with all of this. This this reduces down to the inability to give and receive love. Being blocked. Remember, you are good enough. So this is telling you from the very beginning. You're good enough to give and receive love. You're just not used to doing it. <laughs> or you do it and receive it in very specific ways. Very controlled ways. And expanding from that in a really intimate way with another person in balance ask yourself has that ever happened for you have you had that do you know what that's like do you know what it's like to participate in a loving relationship because also the mother is talking about is is like creating and restricting and that's what we have here. remember i said part of this is going it's flowing and part of it is not it's restricting it's not in flow you're cut you're blocked off I just wasn't sure exactly what this meant. And I think it means a few things here. Well, it's like, like I said, in certain, certain ways, it's like open, flowing, giving, receiving. Oh, this is great. And then not over here. And it's like, these are both aspects of you. You're restricting this love, this, this, you're not letting in of, of this energy with arcing, with the archangels, with your guardian angel in respect to you very specifically, you not what you are, not everything you participate, but your specific story. I want to be clear about that because you're able to see and open up and give in very specific ways. You've allowed yourself to do that. And I think you feel like that's good enough. Um, and again, it, is but not it's not sustainable because it's not in balance okay let's jump into the tier okay the tear the morning the release the rain tears are droplets of letting go once they begin to fall we allow the swelling tide of emotion to run its elemental course often the tear is what is needed in order for a conversation or situation to break into the next level of intimacy and vulnerability some say that tears are so powerful in softening our egos that they can open up a portal to the unseen world through our watery eyes, the ancestors catch a glimpse of us, and we are reminded of their eternal embrace. We sense our humanity, our humility, and we allow ourselves to be held. It is likely this card appears when there is a grieving yet to do, a sinking down into disappointment and despair. That, once acknowledged, will bring a shimmer of clarity to our dewy eyes. And when light... Uh, Melody, melancholy flowing through when dark, drowning drama and murkiness. The tear is powerful and it is possible to be summoned in its what to be sub. Oh my god. I cannot make out this word. It is possible to be sub subsumed in its waters find a supportive place and open the floodgates okay i don't know why that word was so hard for me to figure out if both the tear and the river appear in a reading this indicates an excess of the water element in your life as the your vedic tradition balance yeah tradition balance it with fire and earth okay so um we don't have too much water here <laughs> It's really the only water in your entire reading. Um, we have the wheel, the star, the... Oh, we have the Knight of Cups. We do have cups here. Knight of Cups representing water here. Um, but that's basically it. So there's definitely... Uh, 
there's remember how I said we there's an issue with love with being vulnerable with expressing love with receiving love with giving love and I think that that something about this situation is a catalyst for you to really recognize this um and see how exactly you've been closed off think about the situations that have been in play in your life in these last few years and think about when you've really let go and be vulnerable um about whatever these things are and even the people the people in your life how how and to whom do you allow yourself to express love to receive love what do you how do you how do you um participate in love and being intimate and being vulnerable because it's like really interesting to get this mother and this tear card together and it very well could you may find yourself kind of going back to mother type energy your mother mothers that you know the mother the divine feminine energy within you and you go huh i think that the the role models, the energy that I had for, for the mother, for mothering, for nurturing, for love, for unconditional love was very like clinical or very like I'm seeing like stainless steel for some reason. Like it's, it's not flowery. <clears throat> it's not flowery and feminine and dewy. It's very like you 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 get your nurturing and your and your love from from having a structure from being taken care of in a very methodical way that's love but that's a very one-sided type of love there's a lot of different ways in which we express receive give love and it doesn't feel like like, see, even in this card, it's very black and white. And there is color, but it's on the outer ring. And I feel like for you in, in this situation with, with the mother and this mother energy, this nurturing and this stifling of energy, that this is kind of what you know about nurturing and about the divine feminine and about mothering and being, you know, a nurturing letting the nurturing loving aspect come out is I think a scary thing for you and and if you stop and think about it you're gonna I think see that there isn't a whole lot there with the different relationships that you've been a part of or the people that you've seen and maybe you've seen people out in the periphery in a certain way with the loving and conditional love or unconditional love and nurturing and all that but it's been very abstract nothing really really close to you for you to be a part of to get that understanding and awareness of and i think there needs to be healing with this i think you have to kind of grieve and mourn the fact that you really didn't have this as a blueprint for yourself in this lifetime and that there's even a lot of childhood stuff that is a mystery i'm feeling and difficult to connect to and again we're i'm being shown this harmony card so we want to get your energy into harmony we want to balance out the um the supportive structure of love, but also the vulnerability, the unconditional love type, you know, energies that I think that, that you're just literally bound up with. You don't really know how to do that. And I think you've led a life that has been very me centric and, and possibly even tipping the scales here and there of narcissistic dare I say um 
And I think that that you've seen that for yourself. I think that you've gone, is this normal? Is this a normal way to be? Have I been? Or is this really selfish? Is this narcissistic? Am I a narcissist? What's going on here? Like, is this like just kind of dissecting? And you have, I feel like you have gone into deep territory to figure out some of this stuff. But then again, we come into this kind of, not you know like as far like you've gone like as far as you can go you know kind of with that and there's just more that needs to be uncovered so i would say um with this is just to let's get into our hidden worlds and see what we get there because with this i really feel like um healing balance frequency is really going to help you Connecting with Mother Gaia is really going to help you bringing more nature into your home, into your space. And, and I'm feeling like that would be plants, flowers, this sort of thing. It's springtime, hopefully where you're at too. So you can partake more of that, be out in it more as well. Oh, there's our card. Uh, would be good for you, Capricorn. Let's see what we get here. Water spirit, card number 43, talking about water earlier. So, so we do need more water. We do need the tears. You do need, like, when's the last time that you cried? Have you cried recently? Do you cry? Do you let yourself get misty and, and emotional? Do you allow, do you, is it just a little bit you allow yourself to cry? When was the last time you had a great big cry? When was the last time you really let it go and flow? The next time it happens that you feel this wave of emotion, that whatever it is is going to, you know, trigger that, just let it go, please. Let it, let it go and let it flow. Let yourself cry because we really need that. Okay, emotions, memory, life force. I don't, I'm not sure that I've, honestly, if I've ever seen this card. I've had this deck for a while now. Um... Oh, 43. I don't know what I was looking at. Let's see. Okay. Water spirit, emotions, memory, life force. There is within, within every body of water a spirit that most often cannot be seen. But when we of the hidden worlds choose to come forth, you will not be able. Wait, you will not be. Yeah, you will not be able to deny our presence any longer. Water is intelligent, a feeling source of energy, one which is vital to life on this world. Water is an element which holds history, memories, emotions, and the subtle mysteries of the psyche. With this spirit, you are asked to consider your own emotions, your own memories, and to connect more deeply with the water in your life and make it sacred and begin to commune with the spirits within the water so you can benefit from its intelligence and emotional wisdom the spirit gazes at you awaiting your acknowledgement waiting awaiting you to accept the vitality and necessity of emotional balance of healing memory of understanding that what we hold we emanate Ask yourself now, for you too are a being of water, pr precious one. What do I hold? What am I keeping within me? Is it vital? Is it life-giving? And can I learn to move what is causing me to stagnate and feel unclear? Water is the life force that you are most made up of. And the spirit of water lives too within you, within your blood, your tears, every memory and every emotion. Let your water energy be that of healing, of vibrational vitality, of growth and love, of a kind of honor. Worship the spirit of water, not as an idol, but as a sacred source of life. Revere, revere the watery self that is you. Make yourself as flowing as as honest, as clear as water. When I flow like water, the vibration of my emotions and psyche come light and blissful. Oh my gosh, I love it. 
so yeah so water definitely coming up here a couple times um with the tear with the water spirit literally telling you you need to let go of these emotions i think that you've been holding on really really tightly to like there's been a lot of different situations that are that are like wounding that you've been a part of um that i also feel that you've had time to see your place and your and and play in it and that um that there's a lot more releasement that needs to take place like i said from the very beginning with when we get this card you are good enough with this full moon in virgo um I felt this heart, the heart, the healing energy, the heart chakra and the healing energy that needed to come into play um, to open up your heart. Then we get all of these cards in, in relation to not being opened up, being closed up, but moving forward, being closed up to archangel and guardian angel information in certain situations that you just are not willing to go there um and then we get the mother the tear um the harmony card and lastly this water spirit card really asking you to connect to the emotions emotions that are connected to love or anti-love or fear the fear of love this kind of thing will really really help you to uncover where the seeds of this disconnect are 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 within you and what needs to be extrapolated from that for you to reverse engineer and to understand why it is the way that it is why you are the way that you are how to get it into balance where you can receive and give love openly and have balanced relationships and not put uh, barriers and not close yourself off um, and be able to be free with your love and and that and in harmony here because there needs to there's definitely balance that needs to, to happen and I think that that you know that there's bigger connections for you there's intense soul type family connections for you but and that I, I feel like you want you want something really deep and meaningful and, and intimate and vulnerable. But I think also deep down, you're really, you know that you're terrified of that because you don't really know how to have it. And that stems from this energy within you, within literally in your cells, probably started when you were very, very little, probably came in with, you know, from your your past lives where you had to be very compartmentalized about your love your unconditional love your energy and all of that but coming into this life probably starting at a really young age there was lack of of unconditional love and intimacy and with that you kind of had to do for yourself in that regard or see love as a very kind of clinical like i said before very like sterile and stainless steel kind of thing and um and th those programs need to be rewritten period and your guides and guardians your angels and your archangels are ready to take you down that path and they're gonna pu they're gonna take you through healing they're gonna take you through releasing they're gonna take you through a period of of you getting to know you in a loving way and just honestly taking a look at your life, your connections, your relationships, and really doing some inventory there so you can really see things more clearly like water, be clear like water, be have a, a world that's clear like that in that you can be um, in and submerged in because it feels, it does feel murky. It does feel like if, if we're looking at you or your life as a pool, like a swimming pool, we have like the shallow end that is clearer, but once we get into the deeper end, it's murky. And we want the entire pool to be completely clear that there isn't murkiness there. So we want this harmony 
that with this card, this card is saying we need to get into harmony within the entire system. And it's time to find the darker spaces, the spaces that haven't received love, that haven't given love, that have been closed off. So, so really think about the relationships in your life that you've had and your real honest assessment of how you gave and received, how you received and how you gave unconditional love. And where you can think about you were closed off and what transpired from that how that manifested outwards okay capricorn i want to thank you for being here hopefully you've enjoyed this this reading i know that it was um intense and deep and you know kind of you know we touched on really really intense stuff here but i really hope that it that it helps you to see things more clearly um i feel like you if you go into april wanting the truth of yourself wanting information going as guided and deciding to turn the emperor card and turn the knight of of cups in the upward position that you'll feel the flow of guidance coming in and you'll be supported and it won't be so scary to get into those energies like we talked about and to really do that inventory about love i know love unconditional love relationships all of that stuff can be very daunting to think about but this is the time of your life to sort this out before new people come in and there's confusion there because you're going to be repeating this until you figure this out bottom line bottom line all right there's uh capricorn thank you again so much for being here please like this video subscribe if you haven't if you want to come back and be a part of this space i do meditations energy updates um tarot and oracle reads i am going to be getting into lives coming up soon and i hope you'll be a part of it uh and leave a comment let me know what you think here and i hope to see you soon have a wonderful april bye for now